Once upon a time lived a young king named Parikshit. One day he committed a mistake and was cursed by a rishi that in the next 7 days he would die from a snake bite. King Parikshit became extremely fearful thinking about his death. He prayed fervently to stay alive and then he went to seek help from Sukhdev Muni. Sukhdev Muni told him frankly that the curse cannot be reversed. and that his death is unavoidable as a means of redemption during these final days of the king's life sukhdev muni began reciting the holy gita but the fear of death continued to overwhelm the king so sukhdev muni decided to take a break from the gita and instead narrate a story so that the king could overcome his fear of death once there was a king said Sukhdev Muni who had lost his way in a jungle his bodyguards could not keep pace with him and the king was left alone as the evening dawned a storm ensued and the king found it impossible to find his way back to the palace alone it was getting dark and he did not know where to go and seek shelter when suddenly at a distance he saw a lamp burning in a hut He followed the light and entered a small shack. He could not see anyone there, but he could see garbage thrown everywhere with an extremely foul smell. The king did not have any other place to go, so he called out, "Is anyone here?" A voice came from inside that said, "Yes, it is my hut, but I am too weak to get up. What do you want?" The king said, Brother, I am lost and I have no other place to go to. Kindly let me rest for the night in a corner here. The voice said, "O king, you may spend the night here, but no more than one night. Everyone who comes here does not want to leave even though the house has a very foul smell. And I'm pretty sure that if you stay here for a night, and i ask you in the morning you will not want to leave either and will ask to stay here forever you will sit here and call this place better than any other place you will love it and you will not leave the king found his comments strange but he had no choice and he stayed over the night the next morning when he woke up he forgot all about his own beautiful palace He sat in the hut amidst the smell and the garbage and did not wish to leave. At this point in the story, King Parikshit jumped up and said, "Muni Maharaj, what a fool that king must have been to want to stay in that small hut full of foul smell. He forgot his own luxurious palace. Who would be more foolish or ignorant than him? What sort of king was he?" O king said Sukhdev Muni sternly that king is none other than you yourself the heart is the body you live in and this body too is full of waste and stench but you are so attached to it that you never want to leave your body even though it decays more and more every day and now when death is telling you get out of this body I will give you a more beautiful house to live in. You are afraid to leave it. Even after listening to Gita, you fail to understand that death is not your enemy. Death is the means to free yourself from the material bondages and pains of this world so that you can go back to your holy palace. You are that ignorant king. There is no other king in my story. You alone are that king. In utter surprise and anguish, King Parikshit held his head and started crying. He said, "Muni Maharaj, the knowledge which I could not gain from your high preaching, I have understood now in one blow. I feel no longer attached to this body." and i will not be worried even if death comes now because i have understood death is not the end 
I will exist even if this body perishes and return to my heavenly palace free from all the pains of this body and mind. Nainam chindanti shastrani The soul cannot be cut by weapons. Nainam dahti pavaka The soul cannot be burned by fire. Na chainam kle da yan te yapu The soul cannot be destroyed by water. Na shoshyati marata The soul cannot be withered by the wind. You the soul are indestructible, permanent and thus fear not for there is no death for the soul ever.